The workouts tab is where you go to check out the workouts your trainer has assigned to you. To see what a specific workout looks like, simply click on it and you'll be able to see everything your trainer has programmed. If you're unsure on what a movement looks like or want to double check the correct form, you can click the exercise to get the HD demonstration video, unveil the exercise metrics and access written instructions. When it comes to logging workouts, this is done through the mobile app. You can do this through either hitting start workout button from your hub or from within the workouts area. This is then a case of choosing the workout that you want to complete and hitting start. Once you're in the workout logger, it's simply a case of recording what you managed to complete along with checking off the sets as you go. If you need to see the exercise video again, no problem at all, just hit the thumbnail and you'll be able to play it. Another control you should be aware of in the logger is the menu icon you'll find next to each exercise. Under here you'll see a few different options like create super or giant set, but the one I'd like to walk you through is the swap exercise option. This is typically used when you have an injury or if there's a piece of equipment that isn't available. First of all, you'll find the alternatives at the top of the page. This is where you'll find three exercises that work in a similar fashion to the original but use different equipment. If none of these are good fit, you can either search for an exercise that you know you want or use the other tabs to find what you're looking for. Once you're happy with the change, hit the save button at the bottom and you'll go back to the workout. If you need to change anything else within your workout, for example the heading of the column, just press the column title and choose the metric you'd like to record. This isn't typically what we would suggest as your trainer has often programmed this workout with the best efforts to get you the results you're after. Once you've finished logging a workout, just hit the finish workout button. The final part of this process is leaving any feedback for your trainer and choosing whether or not you'd like to save this workout as a template. This is useful for when you've swapped an exercise out and would prefer to save the new and revised workout for a later date. Finally, hit the finish button and you'll be navigated back to your hub screen.